In this problem, we need to determine the moment caused by the force F about the origin point O. And because the force is represented in a three-dimensional rectangular coordinate system, um, therefore we're going to use the vector formulation to solve this problem. And also, as you can see, we, we need to determine the moment as a Cartesian vector anyway, so that's more reason to use the vector formulation, which says that the moment caused by the force about a reference point, point O equals to the cross product of the position vector and the force vector. The force vector is easy to determine. The position vector has to start from the point of reference and ends anywhere along the line of action of the force. So the first thing we want to do is to represent the force as a Cartesian vector. So the Cartesian vector has magnitude and its direction, so two uh, components. The magnitude is known, that's 450 newton. The direction, because the force is directed from point A to point B, therefore this is the unit vector from point A to point B, which can be determined by the position vector from point A to point B, div uh, divided by its own magnitude. Okay, so we know how to determine the position vector. The position vec vector is determined by taking the differences between the coordinates of the start point and the end point. So the coordinates for the start point, point A, has coordinates of 21, 0, and 0 in the unit of centimeter. Uh, coordinates of point B is going to be 0, positive 18 along the y direction, positive 24 along the z direction. Therefore, the position vector RAB equals to the coordinates of the end point, point B, minus the coordinates of the start point, point A. So we have 0 minus 21 I plus 18 minus 0 J plus 24 minus 0 K. And that's going to be in the unit of centimeter. Therefore, the unit vector UAB equals to RAB divided by its magnitude, therefore negative 21i plus 18j plus 24k divided by the magnitude square root of negative 21 squared plus 18 squared plus 24 squared. And then after we have evaluated that, we multiply the unit vector UAB from here to the magnitude of the force, which is 450 newton. So from there, we can determine the force vector to be negative 258i plus 221j plus 295k in the unit of newton. So now we have the force vector. We still need the position vector in this formulation. Keep in mind that this is not the same as RAB. These two are not the same position vectors. RAB is used to determine the unit vector UAB, which gives us the direction of the force. However, this R right here gives us the relation between the force and the reference point, the point, point O, where we need to summarize the moment about. So these are two completely different position vectors. As I said earlier, you can literally draw unlimited numbers, number of um, position vectors in theory, theoretically, as long as the position vector starts from point O and it ends along the line of action of the force. Therefore, I can draw the position vector to be like this, to be like this, to be like this, and to be like this. However, for convenience, there are two viable options from point O to point A. Use a different color. Different color. Point O to point A, or from point O to point B. Both of them will work, but we want to pick the one that is easier, that will make our calculation simpler. Therefore, the choice I think, which is obvious, will be position vector from point O to point A. Therefore, our position vector 
chosen is going to be position vector ROA, which is simply equals to 21I in the unit of centimeter. Now we're ready to do the calculation. Our resultant moment equals to ROA cross force vector, which equals to 21I cross negative 258i plus 221j plus 295k. I'll worry about the unit later. So for this cross product, we really do not need to use a matrix. We can determine that from the IJK um, unit vectors according to the right hand rule. So I cross I is zero because these two, these two uh, directions, the angle between them is zero. If you remember um, the, for the cross product, A cross B, it equals the magnitude of A times B times sine theta, theta being the angle between them, attached to a unit vector. And this unit vector is perpendicular to both A and B determined by the right hand rule. So in this case, if we do the cross product of I and I direction, the angle between is zero. Therefore, the whole term becomes zero. I cross J, according to right hand rule, give us the direction along the K direction. I cross K give us the direction along the negative J direction. Therefore, from here, we can determine this equals to 21 multiplied by 221, which is 4641k minus 21 multiplied by 295. That's going to be 6195j. And this is going to be in the unit of Newton centimeter. So because... Uh, one meter equals to a hundred centimeter. Therefore, we can do a quick um, unit conversion, and then normally we will write J in front of K. Therefore, this becomes sixty negative sixty two point zero J plus forty six point four K, and that's in the unit of Newton meter, and that is the answer to this problem.